In this video, we're going to take a look at another feature of the Media Library, and that's image galleries. Earlier, we built a page for the aquarium, and we didn't put anything on it. Well, in this video, we're going to make a really cool photo gallery. So here at the top, in the admin bar, we can click Edit Page, and then click Add Media. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is click Upload Files, and I'm going to click all of my files from my trip to the aquarium, and click Open. Now, I have five new images uploaded, and I'm going to click Create Gallery here on the left. And now, it's still showing all my images, but it's only going to create a gallery with the images that are checked. If I don't want one in the gallery, I can uncheck it. If I want it back in, I recheck it. So now on the bottom right, I'm going to click Create New Gallery. And now I'm actually making the gallery. What I was doing before is choosing what images I wanted in the gallery. But now, I'm creating it. You can caption images in the gallery. But you don't have to. You can choose what happens when people click on the images. We're going to choose Media File. You can choose how many columns. We'll leave it at three for now. You can choose to have them in random order or this order. If you want to change this order, you simply drag them. And then there's size. We can choose thumbnail, medium, large, or full size. Let's start with thumbnail. Now we click Insert Gallery. And it looks like that in the editor, but it doesn't look like that on the front end. So let's hit Update, and then View the Page. It looks like this, which is a little awkward. But you can click and get the large images. So I don't really like the way this looks. So I go back, and I can click this pencil over my gallery. And I can say I want Medium. Update. and reload my page. And that looks quite a bit better, but still a little odd. So I click the pencil again and I say I want just two columns. And update and reload. And that looks a bit better. Now, one of the really great things about WordPress photo galleries is that while they're very simple, they are extremely extendable. There are dozens of plugins that can do wonderful things with this gallery. They can make slideshows, they can make zoom effects, all sorts of things. Let's put it in random order. And now I want to show you what's actually going on behind the scenes here. We see the images here in a gallery, but if we click text, you'll see that it's just this bit of text called a short code. It says it's a gallery that we're linking to the file. The size is medium, two columns, the post IDs of the images, and how we want it ordered. So now if we reload, the order changes every time we load. This may be good, it may be annoying. You need to gauge based on what your readers like. One of my favorite gallery extenders comes with the Jetpack plugin. And we did an entire series on Jetpack that includes how to make your galleries look great. So if you're excited about galleries, I strongly recommend you watch the Jetpack series and learn about their built-in galleries.